Hey guys, today we are going to discuss malicious algorithm. Malicious algorithm is to calculate the longest palindrome substring at each position. Let's look at the example. A B A B A B A. Right. The first step of malicious algorithm is to add a um, blank between each of the characters. For example, we add a blank here, 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 and here. So this is a string we get, right? So uh, LPS stands for longest palindrome substring. So after we add in the, uh, all these blanks, we um, let's calculate the uh, LPS at each position, right? Let's look at uh, position zero, so it uh, cannot go left. So the LPS equals to one, right? And this uh, position one, it can go left once, right? They're equal, they're all blanks. So the value for LPS one is one, right? So we go on. Uh, we calculate. We try to calculate the uh, uh, LPS two. So we go left once, and the A is not equal to B. So the LPS equals to zero, right? And then we Go on. At position three, the LPS can expand from one to three, right? So the resu result at position three is three, right? Let's find out a big one here. Um, Let's calculate uh, LPS7. So its uh, palindrome is uh, expanded from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They all match. So we can know that uh, the value is 7, right? And uh, let's uh, look into one more example at position 9. And uh, the value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? The value is 5. Okay, now we understand the meaning of LPS now. So how do we calculate uh, uh, LPS at uh, each of the positions? Let's look into the algorithm. <clears throat> Before we enter the algorithm, first uh, let me introduce some terminologies. So the center point means the palindrome's center, and uh, the palindrome's uh, rightmost position, we call it the center right. And the most left position, we call it the center left, right? And uh, we call the, uh, we call current right position as a position we are trying to calculate uh, the LPS. And uh, uh, current left position is a mirror of current right position on the center point, right? So we can know that uh, this distance equals to this distance. And uh, this distance 
equals to this distance. And uh, one more need to be addressed is that uh, dif difference is equal to this number minus this number. So it's essentially the distance between th these two positions, right? If there is a special case, that is uh, the difference is negative value. It means the current right position is here. It's outside of the center's uh, palindrome, right? OK, that's all the terminology we need. Now we move on. This is our algorithm to calculate each LPS. So the outermost uh, loop is to uh, loop through 0 to uh, 12, right? It's essentially all the positions we have in the sub in the stream, right? Let's look at the example A B A C A B, right? First, we need to add all the blanks. This is the string after we adding all the blanks, right? We start from. Uh, current uh, right equals to zero. OK, um, here we set all the initial values of current right and center right and the center. Now the center right equals zero and the center uh, equals to uh, zero as well. So that we can know uh, center right, which is zero. Um, I mean, the center right should be minus one, right? Because we don't even have a center yet. So the center right is uh, minus one. And um, minus current right, which is equal to one. So that uh, the difference is minus one which means we, um, this current right is outside of previous palindrome. So in this case, we skip step two because uh, step two is essentially take over the advantage of the um, palindrome length so we uh, previously calculated, right? So because it, uh, this point current right is outside of the previous palindromes. So we cannot take advantage of the LPS we previously calculated. So we have to skip this step. OK, then we enter uh, step three, which is expand. So the current LPS is zero. It cannot go left. So the expansion ends up here. So it is still zero, right? Now we update the center right. This is essential, right? The center right now is at uh, here. <coughs> right? And the center is also here. Both of them equals to zero, right? OK, let's move on. We enter the second iteration. We go to step one again. But for this time, the center right is one, right? We still need to mark the center, which is the triangle, and the center right, which is the right arrow here, right? And now the center right is outside of the uh, center 
uh, I mean the current right is outside of the center right. So we skip uh, step two once again, and we uh, expand the LPS here. Uh, now the LPS uh, is uh, zero by default, and we expand once. Okay, blank equals to blank. So we expand the LPS by one. So now it's equal to one, right? And it cannot expand more because it cannot go uh, left anymore. So the expansion ends up here. So the LPS equals to one, right? Okay, let's set set it to one, and we move on. Oh wait, before we move on, we need to update the center right. Right now, the center. Be, uh, before we update the center right is uh, at uh, index zero, but now, uh, we our center right is here and the center is here, right? So we erase the previous uh, center right. Okay, now we move on. We try to calculate uh, uh, LPS2. Now the um, current right is inside the center right, the equal. So that uh, we can know this character has to equal to this character because this substream is a palindrome, right? So we took the value of LPS here and put it uh, right here because they are equal, right? Then we expand it, check if position uh, index one equals it, uh, index three. So A is not equal to B obviously. So the expedition ends up here and the LPS at index two is zero, right? So we set it to zero. Okay, uh, let's move on. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Why we set it to zero? We should set we should set it to zero instead of two, right? Sorry about that. It should be zero. What am I thinking? Okay, let's move on. Now we need to calculate uh, index three's LPS. So we can see that uh, index three is uh, out of uh, um, the current, the center right. So we need to expand it uh, from here. Now check this two, this two, and this two, they're all equal. So we expand three times, and the final value of LPS is three. So we set it to three, right? Is three. And we need to update the uh, center right because now the center right is here. I mean center is here and the center right is here. Okay, let's clear the join. 
and move on. Now we need to calculate uh, LPS4, right? It's inside of the uh, center right. So we can take the current left value and put it directly here, right? And try to expand. No, it cannot expand. So we set the value to zero and try to update it. No, we cannot update. So we move on. Now we try to calculate uh, the LPS 5. So, okay, it's inside the center right again. So that we took the LPS 1 right into the LPS 5 and try to expand. No, it cannot expand. Cool. So the value is 1. And we try to expand the center right. Mm, no, it cannot be expanded. It's at, at the same place, right? So it cannot be expanded. OK. Let's look at uh, index 6. So it's uh, current left. Left is 0. So we took it uh, here and uh, try to expand. Does it equal? No, so it, it cannot be expand. So the value is 0, right? And now we try to update the center right. The center right is still the same. Then we keep moving on. Try to calculate the index 7. The index 7 is outside of uh, current right. So cool. Let's just uh, skip step 2 and try to expand LPS here. Check. 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 How many expansion happened? One, two, three, four, five. It's five, right? It's five here. So we can update uh, the <coughs> center right to here. And the center is here, right? That's our new center. Let's update it. Sorry, there is some flare. Okay. Okay. So the new value is five, and uh, the center needs to be updated. Yeah, center is here. R center right is here. Okay, let's keep moving on. Now the current right is here. So it's inside the center right. So we took the LPS from here to here, right? And try to expand. No, it cannot be expanded. So cool. Let's just uh, set the value to zero. Also, we uh, took the value here to here is one and uh, try to expand CB. It's not they are not equal. So keep moving. We uh, calculate uh, uh, index ten and this value equals to we uh, took the value of uh, zero to here and uh, took the value 
I just uh, skip some steps because uh, they are already um, I explained before, right? Uh, wait, we cannot uh, uh, skip this one, right? Now let's try to calculate the LPS of position 11. It's quite interesting, right? It's uh, uh, current left position is here, right? When we try to put uh, put the value from uh, here to here, let's say we put it here, we can see that uh, uh, it uh, exceed the um, right <coughs> center right. It's not good, right? If we put a, a three here, we are saying that uh, this one is a palindrome, right? Because we are saying there are extra three characters there, and the, the extra three characters are equal to. Uh, mm, A blank A and the blank, right? Actually, two extra characters, and uh, this substring uh, equals uh, is a palindrome, right? It's not correct because there are no more extra uh, characters after the troughs um, character, right? So that uh, when we took a value from previous LPS, we need to check if it uh, exists, exceeds the length of the string. If it exists, we need to uh, take the minimal, right? <clears throat> so in this case, we need to take uh, one as a result, right? Because uh, at uh, index 11, you can go to write uh, only once, right? OK, let's set the value to 1. And uh, we move on. Now we are at uh, uh, index 12. Now, uh, same, same as before. We check index two, and the value is zero, so that we put a zero here, right? Okay, now we are all done. We already calculated all the LPS in this array. So if we want to know the longest palindrome. Uh, appear in this uh, example, we can know that uh, the longest one centers on here and expand five times. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So its answer is CAB. Right. So it's cracked, cool. And uh, let's try another one uh, to see if our LPS is cracked, right? Let's see, say this one. So this one's longest uh, palindrome substring is three. So it goes to one, two, three. So it has B, A, a, right? So the longest uh, palindrome uh, substream centered on the um, on B is ABA, right? So we are correct. Cool. Then we can look at the code, right? This is our code. We first check the 
uh, stream slash is zero, there, there is no point to calculate, right? Then we uh, initialize the, the LPS array. And the uh, initial value of center is zero, right? So that uh, we iterate each of the uh, calculates and uh, we call it a current right. And uh, um, sorry, we draw on the uh, code. That's not good. We need to draw in a separate layer so that we can easily clean it up, right? Let's look at the start of the uh, execution. Is um, first we uh, calculate the center right. Is center plus LPS of the center right? It's clear, and then we calculate the current left. The current left is the uh, mirror point. Uh, of the center, right? Here is the uh, um, current right. And uh, then here is the current left. The distance are the same, right? OK, so that we have the current left here. And then we calculate the difference between center right and the center left, right? So then we, uh, this is the part we take advantage of previously calculated LPS. And uh, we uh, use the minimal value of a difference and the LPS of current uh, left. The reason uh, is illustrated before, right? If we uh, don't use a diff here, we might uh, uh, wrongly uh, think that uh, there are some extra characters after uh, the actual string, right? Then this part is where we expand. So the expand is just to uh, find out if the LPS here can be larger. We just uh, to uh, try it one by one, right? We already know there is a palindrome here, and we can try uh, to expand the palindrome one, one by one and compare each of the pairs to see if they are match, right? And after that, this part is where we uh, update the center right. If uh, the current center right is bigger than previous one, we update it. Cool. Uh, I guess that's it. That's uh, uh, malicious algorithm. I learned the uh, malicious algorithm from uh, Geek for Geeks, right? Uh, it's very illustrative. I highly recommend it. Okay, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.